What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you about a app that we've been working on for quite some time called BurnBin. Have you ever wanted to send your friend a file but have to go through something crazy like Drive because it's too big for Discord or, you know, obviously you have to go through like some service like SendFile or something, right? But what if I told you that was a lot easier of a solution? And that's what I try to create with BurnBin. So the way that this works, let me go ahead and uh, actually, I'll show you this. So this is what the app looks like. You just choose what files you want to share and choose, click share. Once it's there, a website is created with a full TLS secure tunnel that allows any of your friends to actually connect to your PC directly and download whatever files you've put up for them to download. Not only that, they can go to upload and upload a file back to you as well. And you'll have the option to either keep, delete, or add it to the shared files for everyone to access. And then as soon as you close the app, the tunnel is closed and no one can connect at all. Once you open it back up, it creates a brand new tunnel with a brand new link and lets you use that. Now, you might be wondering, sure, but are there any speed limits? Well, yes and no. So the way that this works is it creates a Cloudflare tunnel that allows you to send data securely through obviously their free tunnel system. However, sometimes during congested hours, those tunnels can be limited to slower speeds, maybe a gigabit or hundred megabytes or whatever it happens to be. Um, so if you want to bypass that, just treat it like a standard hosting app. You can port forward uh, the app directly and it will allow people to connect directly to your IP address, or if you have your own uh, server name, you can connect it to your server name, and they will bypass the entire Cloudflare tunnel altogether, and you'll get an unrestricted um, speed, bandwidth, whatever you want to say. It's all just based on your ISP. So let's go ahead and go over here and open the app and show you what it looks like, because we've got to prove it works, right? So we're just going to open this up. And now we have the application here. It says it's starting a tunnel, and it says that it, found one here. So let's click on that. And yep, it looks like it works. So you can send this link to any of your friends and they can access this immediately, load super quickly. We might say there's nothing here. So all you need to do is, and I'm actually going to put these side to side so you can see how quickly this is, or this runs. Let's go ahead and choose browse. And I'm actually going to put burn bin here so others can download it as well. So let's go ahead and choose share file. And immediately you see it shows up without even reloading the page that a new file is available. And if any of my friends want to download that, they just hit download here. It downloads and they've got it. Now, if you want to upload a file, your friends don't have to download this at all. They can actually upload a file right back to you right here. They just choose a file here. Let's say I want to send my logo. Let's go ahead and upload. And it says uploaded successfully. So then on my end, on the host end, you go to uploads and you can see that someone uploaded a file. So I can double click on that and download it if I want to, or I can choose share and it will become another file I can share. And if I download this, there's my logo. So very, very cool functionality. If you ever want to get rid of something, say, oops, I didn't want to share that. That's actually private. We can just click on this file here and choose remove selected. And uh, it's no longer available. Easy as that. So yeah, if you ever wanted a solution to share files with your friends securely, this might be a really quick and easy way to do it. And once you close this out, you'll notice that if your friend tries to connect, it's not loading anymore because it only runs when your server is on, when the app is on and uh, it runs securely in that pipe. So yeah, very cool app, absolutely free. Uh, the source code is free, I should say. This is donationware. So you can download the source code, compile it, use it for free, whatever. If you want to support me, you can go to mikethetech.itch.io and you can purchase BurnBin for $1 or more. If you go to buy now, you can set any amount that you'd like here to donate and get the app that way as well and get all the updates and the binaries and things like that. But yeah, very cool stuff. I uh, hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. Let me know what features you like in this in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace.